Hi everyone, welcome to our discussion in Math 213. In this video, I will be discussing uh, as to what is or what are differential equations. We'll also be uh, discussing or defining the terms order and degree. And later on, in the later part, we will be uh, solving for proofs of the solution of differential equations. So let's get started. So to start with, by definition, a differential equation, or usually denoted by DE, or simply DE, is any equation which contains derivatives. So your concept or the knowledge uh, that you have learned about differential and integral calculus will be very helpful in uh, this subject or in this topic. So again, it is any equation which contains derivatives, either ordinary derivatives or partial derivatives. So meaning to say there are two types of differential equations. So we have the first one. We have what we call as the ODE, or simply uh, ordinary differential equation. So these types of equation has derivatives, not partial, but pure derivatives. Whereas on the other hand, the PDE, or which stands for partial differential equation, uh, these are equations that contains partial derivatives. Now, DE, or differential equations, is uh, a very broad topic. And for you to understand uh, this one better, let's have some examples. So here, number one, we have a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y is equal to uh, g of t. So here, uh, y prime, that is actually equal to uh, the second derivative of y, uh, let's say, with respect to x. So that's equal to y double prime. So there are actually a lot of ways uh, on how we can write or we can represent derivatives. You can use this one, or you can use this uh, notation. Either way, that's the same, okay? Now here, uh, A, B, and C are all constants. Now for number one, this is an example of an OE. That's an ordinary differential equation since it doesn't contain partial derivatives. Next, let's have uh, our second example, number two. By the way, um, for, wait. Okay, here. Yeah. For number two, we have sine y, the second derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the quantity of one minus y dy over dx plus y squared e raised to negative five y. So number two, this is also an ODE. Again, because it does not contain any partial derivatives. Number three, we have y raised to the quantity of four. So this one, four, or the quantity of four, take note, y raised to the quantity of four is not equal to y raised to four. This notation right here means to say that uh, y is... Um, or we are looking for the fourth 
derivative that denotes the fourth derivative of y. It's not merely an exponent, okay? So that's y raised to the quantity of four plus 10y triple prime, that's the third derivative, minus four y prime plus two y is equal to uh, cosine of t. So here, number three, that is also That is also an ODE or an ordinary differential equation. Number four, uh, this symbol right here, that is a symbol that we use for partial derivatives. There are a lot of ways on how we can read uh, that symbol. Uh, others call it uh, the partial derivative, others others call it the curly D, rounded D, curved D, del, or Jacobi's delta. Now, since we have uh, the partial derivative symbol right here, this is an example of a PDE or a partial differential equation. So I hope that's clear. So if we see the partial derivative symbol, that is a PDE. Next, let's go ahead and uh, define the terms order and degree of differential equations. So if we say order, that is the largest or the highest derivative present in the DE. But make sure that it is free from square roots. It doesn't have any radicals or it is free from transcendental functions. So that's the largest derivative in the DP. So for degree, it is the degree of the order of the DE. So the degree will be based on the order of the DE. Now to better understand, we have here an example. So we have the second derivative of y with respect to x times t plus 3 that is equal to g of t. Now this is um, an ODE, an ordinary differential equation. Now to get the order, again, that's the largest or the highest derivative present. Now here in this equation, we can see uh, a derivative right here that is in the second order or the second derivative, meaning to say that the order of the DE is in the second order. Now for the degree, uh, that the degree is the order of the DE. So since uh, this is our order, in order to determine the degree, just look for or determine the exponent of the order. So since the exponent here is 1, the degree is in the first degree. So again, the order that's the largest or the highest derivative in the DE, the degree that's the exponent of the order of the DE. Uh, let's have uh, some examples, other examples for you to better understand on how we get or determine the order and the degree. So let's practice. Uh, first is determine whether the DE is a or an ODE or PDE. Then after that, determine as well the order and the degree. So number one, obviously, that is an ODE. That's an ordinary differential equation. Now for the order, again, the order is the highest derivative. So here in number one, you can see here that the highest derivative is in the second order, okay? Then the degree that is the exponent of the order. So we see right here 
that uh, this derivative is being raised to the exponent one. So therefore, that is in the first degree. Okay. Next, second example, uh, we have the quantity of x squared plus y squared dx plus 2xy dy. Now, if you take a look at this equation, we do not see any derivative. So for us to uh, determine the order and the degree, we need to transform this equation. So we can do that by uh, multiplying the whole equation by 1 over uh, dx. So that we will uh, be able to get the derivative. So multiplying 1 over dx to the whole equation, we will have, um, that's x squared. I'm sorry, wait. That is a quantity of x squared plus y squared. Cancel the x plus 2xy dy over dx. That is equal to 0. So now, I'm sorry. So now um, we have here uh, a derivative. So first, we know that this is an ODE or, or an ordinary differential equation. Now for the order, you see right here the derivative that is uh, the first derivative. So that's in the first order. Again, the degree, that's the exponent of the order. So that is in the first degree. Okay. Let's have example number three. So example number three, that's very easy. That's very obvious. So first, this is an ODE. The order, the highest derivative, that is in the third order because we are looking for uh, y triple prime, which is the third derivative. Now for the degree, um, the degree is in the first degree. Number four, uh, we see here again, the partial derivative symbol. So obviously that is a PDE. Now for the order, the partial derivative is in the second. You see here, this is in the second order. The degree is still in the first degree because the derivative is being raised to one. Number five. So here we have two derivatives from the first and the second term. But again, the order, I'm sorry, let's first determine if this is an ODE or PDE. So obviously, that's an ODE. So going back, uh, we see here two derivatives. But when we say order, that's the highest derivative. So we go with the second order. Now for the degree, that's still being raised to the power of 1. So uh, the equation is in the first degree. Number six. Number six, this is still an ODE. 
but I want you to take a look at this carefully. Try to observe. So we have here two derivatives. Um, one on the left side, the other on the right side. But when we say order, it should be free from radicals. It should be free from um, transcendental functions. Sine right here is a transcendental function. So we will not be using or considering this one as our degree. So here in number six, this is in the first order. Since the derivative right here is independent, it doesn't have any radical or transcendental functions. And of course, for the degree, that's in the first degree. Item number seven. So for item number seven, the left side of the equation is inside a radical symbol. Now take note. So if you see or encounter an example like this, the first thing that you have to do is to simplify. How do you simplify square both sides of the equation in order for us to eliminate the radical or the square root symbol. Now, if you square both sides, squaring both sides of the equation, we'll get rid of the radical symbol. We will be left with uh, dy over dx squared plus 3y. That's equal to the second derivative of y with respect to x squared. So seven, item number seven, but still an ODE. Now for the order, we have two derivatives from the left and from the right side. So if you take a look at the two derivatives, uh, the one from the right is higher. So for the order, that's on the second order. And for the degree, since the order is being raised to the exponent of two, the degree is also two, okay? Next, let's have item number eight. So for number eight, we have uh, this differential equation. Still, that's an ODE since it does not contain any partial derivatives. Now for the order, try to compare the two derivatives. So this one and this one. So between the two, this one is higher. That's in the second derivative. Therefore, the order is two. And since this is our order, our degree will be based on this derivative, which is on the first degree. So we will not be considering this one with the exponent of three. Because uh, that's not the that's not the highest derivative in the equation, so the degree will always be based on the order of the differential equation. Number nine. So again, uh, same with earlier. If we have radical symbols, if we have square roots, the first thing that you have to do is to simplify square both sides of the equation in order to eliminate the radical symbol. Now squaring both sides, we will have, that's one plus dy over dx squared. That is equal to a y y squared, I'm sorry, that's y squared, then third derivative of y with respect to x squared. So after simplifying, let's identify, this is an ODE, an ordinary differential equation. Now for the order, it's very obvious, this is uh, 
on the third order because the highest derivative is uh, the third derivative. Now for the degree, uh, the order is being raised to the exponent of two. So automatically it follows that the degree is in the second degree. So that's how you determine uh, the order and the degree of differential equations. So lastly, um, for this video, we will also be um, solving or having proofs of solution. Now, same with um, finding or proving algebraic equations and functions, uh, our end goal here is to prove that the um, a certain value is a solution or a zero of the differential equation. We need to prove later on that the left side and the right side of the equation will be equal or will be uh, both zero. Now here, in proving solutions, uh, we will be applying or you will be applying your concepts in both differential and integral calculus. So for number one, show that uh, y of x is y of x equals x to the exponent of negative three halves is a solution to four x squared y double prime plus 12 x y prime plus three y is equal to zero for x greater than zero. So how do we solve this one? First, let's identify our y. So y is equal to x raised to negative three halves. Now our equation is up to the second derivative since we see their y double prime. Now using the value of y, we need to look for the derivative up to the second derivative. So that's y prime. So if you can still remember uh, the power rule uh, for differential equation or for differential calculus. So the power rule is that uh, you bring down the exponent, that's negative three halves, x raised to negative three halves, then subtract one from your exponent. So simplifying, that is, I'm sorry. That is negative uh, three halves x. Uh, we know that one is equal to two halves. So negative three halves minus two halves, that is negative five halves, okay? So again, let me repeat that. So since negative, I'm sorry, since one is equal to two halves, then subtracting, that's negative 3 halves minus 2 halves, negative 3 minus 5, negative 3 minus 2, that's negative 5, then copy the denominator 2. So this is uh, y prime, or the first derivative. Now for y double prime, or the second derivative, uh, let's use the first derivative. So this one. So bring down the exponent. So we have negative uh, three halves times negative five halves x raised to negative five halves minus one. Now simplifying, that is uh, 15 over Four. Since uh, both are negative, we will have our positive answer. Five times three, that's 15. Two times two, that's four. X, again, negative one or one is two halves. So negative five halves minus two halves, that will give us negative seven halves. So this is the second uh, derivative. Now, after identifying the first, 
and the second derivative, all we have to do is to substitute uh, the values of the first derivative and the second derivative to our differential equation. Where did that go? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. So uh, this is our equation for x squared times uh, y double prime. Y double prime is 15 over 4 x raised to negative 7 halves plus 12 x. Y prime is this one that is negative 3 halves x raised to negative 5 halves plus 3, then y is simply x raised to negative 3 halves, and that is equal to 0. Now we can cancel this one, cancel that one. We will be left with uh, 15, then x squared times x, uh, raised to negative seven halves plus, I'm sorry, no. That's minus, since positive and negative, it's minus, uh, we can cancel, we can simplify that one. That is a six times negative three, that's negative 18. Then X times, x to the power of, uh, wait. Negative five halves, then plus three x raised to negative three halves, that's equal to zero. Now further simplifying, um, two, that is four halves, so 15, x again two is four halves four halves minus seven halves that is negative three halves minus 18 uh, we have here above x there's an exponent one so one is two halves so two halves minus five halves that is also equal to negative three halves plus 3x raised to negative 3 halves is equal to 0. Now, uh, our variables and the exponents are all the same. So simplifying the uh, numerical coefficients, that's 15 minus 18, that's negative 3 plus 3. Therefore, 0 is equal to 0. And we have proven that uh, y of x, which is x raised to negative three halves, is a solution to the differential equation. So as a conclusion, uh, therefore, uh, y of x, which is equal to x raised to negative three halves, is a solution, okay? So if you have any questions, clarifications, feel free to ask so that I will be able to answer your questions and your queries. Let's have uh, example number uh, two. So example number two, that is a y triple prime, third derivative minus three y prime plus 2y is equal to 0. And let's prove that y is equal to e raised to negative 2x is a solution of this equation. So we know that y is equal to e raised to negative 2x. So since our equation is up to the third derivative, we will be uh, solving or looking for the third derivative of y. So y prime, um, for exponential functions, all you have to do is to bring down 
the numerical coefficient of the exponent. So that's negative 2. Then copy everything else. That's e raised to negative 2x. That's the first derivative. Now for the second derivative, that's y double prime. Still the same thing. Uh, bring down the exponent. So since we have uh, already 2 here, multiply. That's 4. Then e raised to negative 2x. Now, lastly, we have y triple prime, the third derivative, still bring down the exponent, that's negative 8, uh, e raised to negative 2x. Now, since uh, we are able to determine uh, the derivatives, next thing that we have to do is to substitute to our original equation. So, y triple prime, that is negative 8e raised to negative 2x minus 3, then y prime, that's negative 2e raised to negative 2x, then plus 2, then y is simply e raised to negative 2x, that is equal to 0. So again, what we did is simply substituting uh, the values of the derivatives to our equation. Now simplifying, so that's negative 8e uh, raised to negative 2x. This one, I'm sorry, it's negative 8e raised to negative 2x. Then here that's positive 6e raised to negative 2x plus 2e raised to negative 2x, that's equal to 0. So our uh, variables here or e and the exponents are the same. So all we have to do is to combine the numerical coefficients. So that's negative 8 plus 6. That will give us negative 2 plus 2. Obviously, that's 0. So once again, we have uh, proven that uh, y is a solution to our differential equation. So therefore, y is, uh, equals e raised to negative 2x is a solution to our differential equation. Next, let's proceed to the third item. So uh, the equations for numbers two and three are actually the same, but we have, uh, different exam or different uh, y's. So just like algebraic expressions or functions, there are functions that has two or more roots. Same with the differential equation. So verify if uh, 3e raised to negative 2x plus 4e raised to x is a solution of the same differential equation. So our equation is up to the third degree. So it's y equals 3e raised to negative 2x plus 4e raised to x. So first derivative, y prime. So bring down the exponent, that's negative 6e uh, raised to 2x plus 4ex. Uh, second derivative, that's y double prime, that is 12, negative 6 times negative 2, that's positive 12e raised to negative 2x plus 4e raised to x. Now third derivative, y triple prime. So that's 12 times negative 2, that's negative 24, e raised to negative 2x plus 4 e x. So now that we have determined uh, the derivatives to the third derivative, so simply substitute. So that's y triple prime, that's negative uh, 24 <coughs> e raised to negative 2x plus 4ex minus, wait, I'm sorry, let me erase that one. So 
So again, substituting, that's negative 24e raised to negative 2x plus 4e f raised to x minus 3. Then y prime, this one right here, that's negative 6e raised to negative 2x plus 4e x plus 2. Then times y, that's 3e raised to negative 2x plus 4e x, I'm sorry, 4e. raised to x that is equal to zero. Now simplifying, that's negative 24e raised to negative 2x plus 4e raised to x. That's positive 18e raised to negative 2x. Negative three times four, that's negative 12e raised to x plus simplifying this part, that's 6e raised to negative 2x plus 2 times 4, that's 8e raised to x, that's equal to 0. Now combining like terms, so we have negative 24e raised to negative 2x, then this one, plus 18e raised to negative 2x, then this one, that's plus 6e raised to negative 2x plus this one. It's 4e raised to x minus 12e raised to x plus 8e raised to x. That's equal to 0. So these are like terms. That's negative 24 plus 18, that's negative 6 plus 6, that's 0, okay? Here, uh, that's 4 minus 12, that's negative 8 plus 8, that's 0. These are like terms. So 0 is equal to 0. So therefore, three e raised to negative 2x plus 4e raised to x is a solution of our differential equation. So lastly, we have uh, example number four. So verify that the solution of the DE, uh, the second derivative of x with respect to t plus k squared x is equal to zero is x is equal to sine k. So still the same thing. Uh, since you're given x, we solve for the derivative up to the second derivative. So x is equal to sine uh, k. Now for x prime or the first derivative, so uh, bring out the constant, that's k. Then the derivative of sine is cosine. Okay. Now for the second derivative, uh, bring out uh, the constant k. So we have k squared. Uh, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Okay. So that's it. Now substituting. So the second derivative, this one is the same as this one. Okay. Uh, just different notations, but the same meaning. So that's negative k squared sine kt plus uh, k squared, then x is this one. So that is sine kt, that's equal to zero. That is zero, that's equal to zero. So therefore, 
x equal sine kt is a solution of our <coughs> differential equation. So that's it for this uh, discussion. That's all about differential equations. Um, two types of differential equations, the ODE and the PDE, uh, the order and the degree of differential equations and uh, proofs of solutions of differential equations. If you have questions, clarifications, uh, you're always free to ask so that I will be able to um, answer. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for listening. You take care always. Bye-bye for now.